organized private sector and the government representatives are proposing 62,000 naira, while the Nigeria Labor Congress and the TUC, as well as Nogi, I think, are proposing uh, 250,000 naira. Um, what happens going forward, Ms. Onalga? Well, so far, uh, the president has not been formally briefed about the decision of the Trapata Committee. Is it the Trapata Committee underscored the word Trapata, made up of government, federal, and sub nationals, made up of uh, the public sector, and made up of labor? Each of those segments has 12 members each. So 24 members of that Trapata Committee are saying they adopt 62,000 hours. The labor uh, from the high house of uh, 619,000 naira, they now come down to 50,000 naira. The amount they are still often is uh, unrealistic. It cannot be paid by the, by the federal government. It cannot be paid by the public sector. All, all of them will shut down. And the governments have said that they cannot even pay the 60,000 naira that the public sector and the government was offering before. So that's where we are today. I believe that Labour to reconsider its position. What they are asking to be paid, it's not just a man paying a, a money, but they have to look at the affordability and sustainability. The subnationals have said they don't have the money. In fact, I have some statistics that show that as of today, many of those states, states that we have six states, they borrow money to survive. Every month they have to borrow. If you if you if you just suppose their the current and capital and uh, and the, the money they, they get from federal government and from the, the internal revenue, most of them are in deficit, including Lagos State. That we have in our heads that Lagos is very rich. Lagos State borrows money to do a lot of projects. So that's the position. That's why I'm saying Lagos needs to reconsider this thing. All of us are affected by the by the situation of things in the country today. Uh, the prices have gone up. Everybody, everybody is facing the, the bite of inflation. I with everything, but I want to assure Nigerians that this is not peculiar to Nigeria. This is a universal problem. Thank you much, uh, uh, it, it could be argued that um, yes, indeed, we have uh, you know the the COVID nineteen, which took a, 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 a big hit on global economy. Uh, the Russian Ukraine war brought another hit to the global economy, and now the Israel Gaza conflict has also brought another hit uh, to the global economy. And, but but it could be argued that Nigeria's situation was exacerbated. It may not have been as bad as it is right now if um, the subsidy uh, on petrol was maintained and wasn't uh, had not been removed. Um, so that 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 is what what's what probably the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, do do you agree with that? That that's actually the key factor that took, brought us to where we are right now in Nigeria. Well, I, I think it's, uh, what happened with subsidies like uh, uh, what we always say that. When you postpone the evil day, the evil is coming, the money is coming. And then you keep postponing, postponing, postponing. That's what happened with subsidy. President Buhari was supposed to remove it. In fact, a year before President Tinubu came in, but he, he kept postponing, postponing. In the election, in the campaign for the 2023 election, all the major candidates, Atiku Abubaka, uh, Peter Obi, and President Bola Tinubu all said they had there was a consensus of view that subsidy must go. It was being abused. Government was piling up a lot of uh, debt on subsidy. In fact, in the in the in the in the estimated budget for 2023, they were saying government was going to spend about four trillion in, in, on subsidy. The government finances was building, and Mr. Bolatinubu from the we need to take the action in two to make sure that the bleeding stopped. So that's what happened. And as we are talking, people should do survey around us, either in Cameroon or in Niger, or Niger is an oil producing state in charge of the Republic up to Ghana. They find that they are still buying fuel at about 50% of those other countries by them. So it shows government is very. Uh, sensitive to the, the plot of our people, and that's why they have put a lead 
on 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 the on further rise of oil price. Right. So let, let's get back to to the national minimum wage. Um, you think Mr. President has not been briefed about the um, decision of the tripartite committee? No, no, no. You know, the, the committee, I mean, left their meeting on Friday night. Yeah. So um, they, they informally today, they give him an official briefing that okay. this is what. But he, he has got, he had, like everybody, he has read it in the papers. Okay. And he knew that those people who represented the government were negotiating on his behalf. So whatever they bring, he will take it. Hmm. It's not uh, against whatever they have decided. But I don't see government, I don't know what the president will do, whether he will say he's going to increase it. They cannot even unilaterally increase it. Labor should be realistic. The government, I think the figure outside there is that if we increase the minimum wage to the level labor is asking for, the government will pay about five trillion. Five trillion naira, I think, is it monthly or, 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 or per year or something? Is that on, the federal, on, federal on government? The, yeah, federal government. Okay. Five trillion. Right. And if you look at the, at the budget of this year, 28 trillion, and you are paying five trillion. On, on wages alone, on wages alone, what are you going to spend on uh, capital? What are you going to spend on other things that government does? Well, the well, current well, well, buying. Well, for, well, well, well Nigerians feel that, that. Go the government should cut down on spending, um, you know, and then look at uh, other areas to cut down on, like uh, spending ninety billion naira on pilgrimage and all that, and they might find the money to to pay the workers. Mr. Nadega. Well, I don't, know, I don't know why we are happy on this pilgrimage thing. Government exists. To take care of his people. That's what government is for. To take care of the people. To some Nigerians, pig image is that according to their religion, pig image is very, very uh, it's essential. It's compulsory in Islam. It's one of the five pillars of Islam. You must you must go to Mecca. You do pig image. The Christians, they also go to Jerusalem, they go to Rome and things like that. I'm sure by the time they say they want to go on pilgrimage, the same government can also offer some assistance to enable them to perform their religious obligation. It's not something, and if uh, the if fire worshippers or traditional worshippers want to go to some shrine or something, they are also entitled to seek government assistance. I don't, it's, it's, it's people who are raising this issue, they forget that first of all, the government exists for the welfare of the people, no matter the religion they have. Mr. So President, um, does he have the power to add to what um, the Tripartite Committee has brought to him? Because, I mean, he has two numbers. He has 62,000 naira, he has 250,000 naira. They are not making his work easier. What will he do? Well, when he said, when they agreed for the fall on 60,000, when the, I mean, the two, the two of the, of two, two, I mean, two segments of the committee, Tripartite, uh, the government and the private sector agreed on 60, he said he was committed to adding more. The people who represent the government, the Commissioner of Finance was there, they had it under 2,000 naira. They were negotiating on behalf of the president. I don't know what he's going to say, whether he's going to say, oh, let's add another 2,000, or let's add another 3,000. But their decision is his own. He will look at the figures and he will say, okay, let's see what happens. Because the same thing, we have done it before. <laughs>